Sana says, I met a guy that have been hot and cold, stepped back for a few days, and he contacted me today asking me if I was upset with him and told me sorry in such case. How can I tell him that I need more? Well, what you want to do is you want to set a boundary there and talk about what is really attractive to you and what's really not attractive to you. I talk a lot about this. This is framing, kind of framing conversations and framing what it is that you need and what you want, right? And just let him know, like, you know, when, when you're like, it's one of those things, like sometimes people have to go hot and cold. And I don't know what you mean exactly by hot and cold, but what you're probably talking about is that he's really on sometimes and then sometimes he's he's off and he kind of disappears and there's something going on with him. And what you want to do is you want to communicate that if he's going to do that, he needs to talk to you about it, right? And just let him know it's really attractive when, you know, if it's... It would be really attractive to you in the future if, if he talked to you about what it is that is going on with him so that you're not kind of left in the dark about where he is or thinking that, you know, whatever is going on with him. That's that's the first thing. Number two is you need to do what we kind of talk about in this video, which is making sure that you have a life and that you're seeing and dating other people. So that it's not you're not all of your focus is focused on this one guy and making sure that you're communicating your boundaries and letting him know what what it is that you need in a way where I was just talking about it like what's attractive what's unattractive like it's really you know like talking about it in in terms of like it, it it's attractive that you know, when, when a guy communicates with you like tell him what you like so this whole idea about framing is you're you're talking about things that you like, right? Like I, if I'm sitting here and we're talking to each other and we're having a conversation and you say something and I'm like, hey, you know what? I You know what I really like is I, I love it when, when people compliment me, right? Which maybe you've heard me say in other live streams before, which I do. I really, I really love it when people compliment me. It's like one of, it's one of my favorite things ever, right? Is when people compliment me. It makes me feel really good about myself. Right. And when I tell you that, what ends up happening on these live streams and you can just watch what happens on live streams. And you might want to see some of the other live streams that I've done where I've been like, oh, I really love it when people compliment me. All of a sudden we start getting all these people complimenting me in the live stream. Right. Why are they doing that? Because they know that I like compliments and they want me to feel good. Right. And if this guy, if you're dating this guy and he likes you and he wants you to feel good then you can talk to him about the things that you like. You can talk to, the th to him about the things that, you, that make you feel attracted and that make, make you turned on and the things that – all these things, right? And framing it in those terms of like, oh, man, you know, it's just so, it's so attractive when a guy like knows how to communicate with me and just, you know, tells me what's going on with him, you know? And sometimes when guys disappear, it just – you know, it's just such a turnoff. And then I'm just like, I'm not really even sure about him anymore. And I kind of like started thinking about other people and it, you know, and, and just framing it in those terms, right. And just the terms of like, Hey, this is really unattractive and this is really attractive. And this is something I like, and this is something I don't like. And, you know, talking about those things, one, it's, it's helping him get to know you. And two, it's, you're teaching him how to treat you. And so if you want him to treat you in a certain way, you need to be able to communicate that. And the best way, in my opinion, to do it is through framing.